Hey guys, so I am back in Toronto and uh, I had a nasty five hour delay for my flight from New York City back to Toronto. But if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely check out my New York City vlog. Uh, Converse had me in New York City for a helicopter tour, so it was really, really fun. I'll leave it linked down below. But right now, I'm just walking my dog on this mighty fine, so, it's so nice outside right now, this mighty fine afternoon, and uh, my sister, my sister did a prank to me. She got my sneakers. She got my sneakers and she got my room. I locked my room, I swear, I locked my room, but she barged in. My parents were pissed with her too for going into my room while I locked it while I was gone and, and like messing it up a little bit. So I'll show you guys what my sister did to my sneakers in my room. But yeah, for now, we gotta walk Misty. This ice cream man is smart. He has his ice cream truck parked right outside of this uh, middle school. So right after, he's gonna make some bank when school's dismissed. I'm gonna let Misty have some fun, enjoy some free reign. Uh, today on feet, we got the Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged. I like to use these as like my walking my dog beaters. Oh, she's peeing, lovely. <laughs> so I'm gonna kick this ball and uh, hopefully, hopefully she can get it. Can you, can you get the ball when you're done peeing for me? You're not you're not peeing for me. You're you're okay. Here we go. Oh, that was horrible. Oh my gosh. Sneaker talk soccer coming soon. Watch out, boys. Let's try that one more time. Are you ready? Last time I did this with Yeezys in my Snapchat, and it made so many people cringe and hurt their feelings. Let's do it. There we go. That's like 10% better. It's been a while since I've done the whole daily vlog thing because of school and stuff and a lot of work I have to do. I've been uh, inconsistent with the vlogs to say the least. I've been uploading them every couple of days, maybe one or two a week. But if you guys are interested in seeing daily vlogs on the channel, um, let's get this video to 500 thumbs up and just comment. As many people who want to see daily vlogs, comment you want daily vlogs, that you want the vlogs back because if you guys want them, I'm out of breath, holy god. <laughs> Misty's just eating all this. She's like chewing all this grass. Are you good, girl? Is is everything good over there? Is everything good over there, little bugger? Pushing her head. <laughs> Stop eating the grass, bro. You're gonna throw up again. You're a girl, I just called you bro. Whatever, I assumed your gender. I was planning on like sitting down and talking with you guys in my room, but you know what? Let's just soak up the sun and let's talk some more updates and stuff. For the channel right now when it comes to the content on the channel i've really been making a lot of videos for myself that make myself happy videos that i like and like to produce but i really haven't been focused too much on producing content that you guys particularly like watching or you know focusing on video requests that you guys have so in the comments down below if you have any video requests you guys would like to see on the channel definitely comment them because I want to be able to please everybody on the channel, not just myself. Into my room we go, and I'll show you guys what my sister did. Now, I removed some of it already, but if you guys can't tell uh, what's in the background, my sister literally wrapped every single sneaker and sneaker box in my bedroom while I was gone. She, she, she Christmas wrapped everything. Look at this, like, like, look, newspaper up here, newspaper, she even got Christmas paper too. She individually wrapped each sneaker in my bedroom. I took, I took the stuff off here already, some stuff off here already. Absolutely everything. And on top of that, she ended up like shoving a bunch of my sneakers into my closet right there. And then, my room's, my room's out an absolute mess by the way. Sorry mom. And then, in the corner too, she like did, she, she wrapped everything here too. And my desk, she completely covered it all. She even taped down my Nintendo 3DS, taped down my projector. Again, I'm sorry mom, my room is an absolute mess and I'm showing it to the entire world, it is what it is. When I came home from my flight yesterday at two in the morning, I came home to all my crap wrapped up in Christmas wrapping and newspaper. My sister was up. She had hidden cameras and stuff, so she got my genuine reaction and everything. She's officially started the prank war. My sister has initiated the prank war. Maybe I absolutely destroy her on the first prank. We're good as long as she doesn't touch my sneakers and damage them. 
She can touch my sneakers, okay? She can touch she can touch all the sneakers in the back. As long as she doesn't like damage them or cut them up or you know put grape juice on them, we good. Okay, those those are the only rules. But if she does that, I am going to cut off like all of her hair when she's asleep. And that'll be a prank, bro. It'll be just a prank, bro. Now I don't know if the video is up already, but I'll leave my sister's YouTube channel linked down below. I think she has over a thousand subscribers already. Check out her channel and check out the prank video when it goes up, if it goes up. I don't know if she's gonna upload it, we'll see. In other news, an incredible, incredible subscriber, a supporter of Sneaker Talk and the channel, Eugene, from the Sneaker Files podcast, sent me some love. He messaged me like a month ago, and he's seen my vape addiction grow and grow. Now I have, I was gonna try and count them in the background, but I can't see my vape sneakers anymore because my sister wrapped them all up. Three vape sneakers, a vape hoodie, a vape face mask, and, and other stuff and other stuff. And uh, Eugene reached out to me over Twitter DMs and said he wanted to give me a Bape piece, like a, a Bape t-shirt, which is like out of nowhere. He was just like, hey, I have these Bape t-shirts. And I think he said he's just not wearing them or they're just sort of collecting dust and he wanted to give me one of them. And I was just like, what? What? You want to give me a Bape t-shirt? I'm like, in my head, I'm like, what's the catch? Like, what's 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 he want out of this? And he was just doing it out of the generosity of his heart. Like, he was just a genuinely nice guy. He is a genuinely nice guy. So, uh, it came in the mail today. Uh, he's from Vancouver. So, it came from all across the other side of the country. He asked me if there was, like, one in particular that I wanted from, like, a set of four that he had pictured. And honestly, like, if you're giving me a vape shirt for free, I'm not going to be picky. So... I just said, you can give me any any shirt you want, man. I will be so grateful, so thankful for it. And one really cool thing about Eugene, the homie who sent me this, is he's actually doing his own project right now. It's called the Sneaker Files Podcast. If you guys haven't heard about it yet, make sure you check it out. I'll leave it linked down below too. The Sneaker Files Podcast is another sneaker podcast, and they're also uploading on YouTube too. And on top of that, they actually upload video of them talking. So they do like the podcast live, they record the video, they upload it into chunks now on their YouTube, so it's like in nice manageable sizes, and it's like, you can see them in person talking, so there's some nice visual uh, right there when you are indulging in the podcast. Uh, so yeah, shout out to the Sneaker Files podcast, shout out to Eugene, thank you man, this is, this is beyond generous, really, really kind of you. Uh, let's just open this bad boy up, and I honestly will probably wear this shirt for the rest of the day, so yeah, let's just, let's rip it up. You included a note too, so uh, let's let's read this note. Oh, cool! This is like the actual vape bag itself with the bathing ape and uh, yeah, sick, sick. All right, so here is the note. So the note here reads, "Hey Christian, thank you for everything you do for the Canadian sneaker scene. We need more rep like yourself in the near future. Consider this a payment for all the free content you've provided me. Hope you enjoy." Signed, Eugene, Sneaker Files Podcast. Man, thank you. Thank you, Eugene. This is like this is really, really kind of you, man. Um, I I don't know what to say. Just thank you. I, I really appreciate this. And let's get into this. Let's get into this big piece right now. Okay. Oh. Oh. What? What? He didn't just send one. Man's sent two. Eugene sent two vape shirts, bro. I'm gonna start tearing up right now. I'm getting emo. I'm getting emotional. I'm not sure if you guys can see it in my eyes, but I'm getting emotional. Damn, bro. Damn, and this is some like older stuff too. This isn't like new release stuff. So these are harder to find pieces. I take it. Very first piece. It has this cool little teal vape tag right here. So it's an all black shirt. We got the ape. We got a bathing at the top and then ape in green at the bottom. The shirt quality is really, really nice. Like it's a nice, a thicker kind of shirt. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to wear these on the hot summer days, but definitely at nighttime or in spring and fall. And on the very back of the sneaker, or uh, sneaker, <laughs> and on the very back of the t-shirt underneath the neck area, it says busy work and ape shall never kill ape. So this is the very first t-shirt. There's also the vape tag on the left sleeve right here. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this second piece right here is a, another black shirt. Same kind of like really nice, thick quality, you know, cotton. And it's also made in Japan, like all, not all vape is made in Japan. Like most vape is made in Japan. This right here is a like black 
yellow and purple uh, color logo. I'll give you guys a better look at the design right now. This is so sick. I've never owned a Bape t-shirt before, so now I have two Bape t-shirts coming in at the same time. Thank you, Eugene. Thank you. On the shirt it says, Busy Works 1993, a bathing ape since 1993, ape shall never kill ape. And on the very back of the collar here, it says a bathing ape, ape shall never kill ape. And of course it also has the bathing ape tag right here. Man, okay, thank you Eugene. Thank you so much, man, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna decide now which one of these shirts I wanna throw on and I'm gonna bang out a bunch of videos because I have a lot of videos I have to get done. I even have to upload a vlog and other stuff. I'm a bit behind because I woke up at 1 p.m. today. I went to bed at four in the morning last night because after I got home, I edited videos for two hours because I was feeling extra motivated. I wanted to pull an all-nighter, but my body was just like, yo, you need to get some sleep. You gotta rest up. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna grind out some videos this afternoon and uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. So it's been about 10 minutes since I last updated you guys in the vlog. And now I'm freaking out because I can't find my phone. My cell phone is like completely missing. I've been calling it with my home phone for the last like five minutes trying to find it in the house and it's ringing but I just, I can't find it. I can't find my phone at all. It's just gone. It's gone. I had it this morning. I have no idea where it is. I'm freaking out a ton because I have a lot of important stuff on my phone. Uh, it'll be really crappy if I did lose it and it's gone forever. I know I'm, I'm probably I'm probably freaking out a little bit more than I should, but I am freaking out nonetheless. So then I have to go to the bank too and and deposit my paycheck and ah, I'm freaking out right now. I'm freaking out. All right, I'm gonna keep looking for my phone and uh, keep going on with my day. So since I can't honestly find it in my house at all, like I think I've looked absolutely everywhere, I'm gonna retrace my steps to where I was walking Misty. Now unfortunately, it's a place that's heavily uh, populated with a lot of kids walking, going and, going and coming from school to school, all that stuff, but I'm hoping that my phone fell out of my pocket possibly and ended up in a, uh, like a grass field where I was playing with Misty running around. <sighs> but if, if it dropped and it fell on the sidewalk, this, the phone's a goner. The phone's 100% a goner. I'm literally gonna be like going on all the sidewalk it was, all the grass fields that was earlier. You guys can see there's kids already coming home from school and stuff, so. Oh man. As far as the eye can see, my cell phone is definitely not on the sidewalk all here. Um, really, really hoping that it's in the grass somewhere. Somewhere, oh man. All right, so we've made it back to the uh, school area. I usually walk my dog, so I'm gonna generally check this area here, and then I'm gonna go out to the open fields down there. Bro, you have gotta be kidding me. You have gotta be kidding me. There's now like a gym class or just kids playing soccer now on the field over there. So it's gonna be hella fucking weird if I go over there looking for my phone. Guy right over there who just like yelled out sneaker talk. Pretty dope. I can't find my phone. Freaking the fuck out right now. All right, so as far as finding my phone in the open field there, that's a bust. Don't think I'm gonna find it at all. Pretty cool bumping into a subscriber. He just like yelled out sneaker talk and I was like, yo. Um, but damn, bro. Damn. Ah, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Well, my sister just got home from school and I still haven't found my phone yet. I was gonna make a sneaker guessing game because my sister did wrap up all the shoes and stuff, uh, but I'm so stressed out right now with this whole lost phone thing. I decided we're just not gonna film that video. And on top of that, I had like three major time sensitive videos I had to film today. And now that I don't have my phone, I can't focus on those videos anymore, which sucks because this, this, all, this all really sucks, man. When you lose your phone, especially when it's a huge part of your job and what you do and just, you know, there's so much personal stuff on it too. And, Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here for today, guys. Sorry, we're gonna cut it abruptly, but I am just so stressed out. I'll catch you guys in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I found my phone. And uh, thank you again, Eugene, for the babe shirts. I'm not wearing the babe shirt now. I took it off for a second. And thank you, Converse, for New York City, because that was dope. All right, I'll catch you guys in another video. Okay, so I got some really, really good news. I am on the way now 
to get my phone. I was just calling it nonstop all afternoon, and uh, man, it's just been one hectic afternoon. Wasted three hours, not wasted, but tried for three hours to try and find my phone. I just called it right now, and um, someone picked up some adult who was on a walk at the park found it i'm on my way to pick it up right now so faith in humanity restored oh my gosh if he is the same if he's in like my shoe size i'm gonna give him some sneakers if he's not in my shoe size i'll give him some money just as a thank you as a reward because oh my god and the funny thing is i have my mom's phone right now and I was about to head outside and go to the park again and try one more time, but this time call the phone while I was looking. <sighs> okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna. <sighs> Biggest relief ever. Faith in humanity 100% restored. This is like the general park area where I lost it around here. And I'm pretty sure I must have dropped it in the field when I was playing with Misty. Oh man, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Uh, uh, what shoe size are you, by the way? Shoe size? Yeah. I don't know, 10 or 11, why? Uh, I, I make sneaker videos and sneaker reviews and stuff for a living. Oh, yeah? And I was wondering if I could give you a couple of sneakers, possibly, just as like a thank you. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, I have. That's, that's not the least I can do. On, I was freaking out. I, I know. When we lose our phones, we go crazy and this and that. I'm going to be walking in a park. I stumble across your phone. I feel bad taking money from okay. you. Man. Anyways, I found it right about over there. Right I was here. walking across this one. Like, hey, yeah. What the hell? Somebody lost. I thought I lost mine. I'm like. Yeah, that's crazy because I was walking my dog earlier this afternoon around yeah. here and I just was like running around with her and then I realized I don't have my phone but then I didn't touch my phone the entire walk so I wasn't sure if I left it at home. Right now I'm just going through my room looking for some sneakers to uh, give this man who found my phone. He says he has a son. Maybe give him some sneakers instead. So uh, yeah, we're just... I just destroyed my stuff looking for sneakers to give. So uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's vlog properly. Uh, thank you, John. Thank you so much, John, for being like an honest, an honest person and finding my phone and calling and everything. And <sighs> okay, and I hope your son also enjoys the shoes. What a relief! So uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, I have your phone. Your your phone's in my pocket.